Welcome to Regina Sailing. Today we are going to talk about time. Because, as you know, time is crucial when you are doing celestial navigation. Because if you're just four seconds off, you're a whole mile off. And it's difficult enough to take a good sight and do the calculations. We don't want to spoil it also by taking or using an inaccurate time. So, first of all, you can use a lot of time showing devices. But the most important thing is, where do you set it? So if you sail down the Thames, past Greenwich, at 12 noon exactly, the big ball falls down, so all ships which leaves um, London know that it is exactly noon. Well, one thing, of course, that very many people do, is to use the GPS time. So in the GPS you get a pretty accurate time, and uh, so you can set your little cheap 10 euros uh, digital watch according, it, uh, according to it, and then you can go out shooting. Now, using the GPS was just the whole point not to do. So I think it's a bit cheating to use the GPS as a time signal. Other possibilities are if you are close enough to the United States, um, in Colorado, they have a nice SSB transmitter, which transmits at 2.5 megahertz, 5 megahertz, 10 megahertz and 15 megahertz and I think also 20 megahertz uh, the time signal. You hear the voice and it says what time it is and you can set your cheap little watch accordingly. If you don't have an SSB on board you can get one of these small tiny world receivers which fit into the palm of your hand and you can get news and music and even time information here because before full hours and the news, very many stations do give time signals. Another one is to use an app on the iPhone or on your smartphone. So if you have an app which gets its accurate time from an atomic clock, well, you're in good hands. Now that's one thing, to get the time uh, accurate time. And then you want to keep it for as long as possible. So once you're out sailing and have set your clocks here, you want to uh, have an accurate chronometer that doesn't um, change too much. So very many normal watches have a quartz which uses a crystal that oscillates in 32,700 uh, hertz. So it's about 32 uh, kilohertz. And that gives an accuracy of about 20 ppm. ppm meaning parts per million. In other words, about 1.7 seconds every 24 hours. So you can exactly see how inaccurate the uh, quartz watch is. It lasts for a couple of days only, unfortunately. You can invest in one of these uh, 100 euro watches, which is quite good. They have a built-in receiver. So the transmitter stands in Darmstadt in uh, Germany here in Europe. That's the only one in Europe. So it gives the time signal and this one over radio and this one has the uh, reception. Unfortunately, Darmstadt is quite far away. So that means that here in Porto, in Portugal where we are now, mm, we don't get very often the, the um, time signal. So when I left Bayona, that was the last time I got the time signal. So you can see that on the watch by pressing on this button here on the side and it says it has received it on the 6th of July at 3.06 in the morning. So that means that that is how old the accurate time signal is. So that's only a couple of days ago. So we would say it shouldn't be much more off than uh, maybe one to two seconds. So that's good. But how about if you want to go further away and don't have internet, um, you are not close to America to get the SSB signal, you set your clock and then you want to go sailing over an ocean. Well, in that case, it is quite good to have a very accurate chronometer. So here I have one which actually has a quartz in it and it's even temperature sensored. So this quartz um, is uh, going more than 100 times faster than these two. So instead of 32,000 um, hertz, it has over 4.2 million hertz. So that means that this chronometer, it's actually digital, despite the fact that it has an analog display. So this one 
has an accuracy of only 2 ppm. So that is a tenth of these. So that means it, uh, uh, th so for a normal ocean passage of three weeks, you would get maybe maximum an inaccuracy of three seconds, and three seconds is less than a mile. So you can cross an ocean over three weeks and still be within a mile um, accuracy. So that's why I use this beautiful Vempe um, chronometer on board so we can set our time. I still use these small cheap ones to go on deck when you do the time uh, for the for, for the sextant. So I just set it accordingly or better I check how much it is off. I make a note of that and then I know that whatever um, I see here I have deduct. I have to deduct or add a couple of seconds and um, I don't have to check it every time but maybe every couple of days I check it. So these are the possibilities of using um, correct time on board and um, that's how I do it. And I hope it has helped and give some insight how important it is to get a good time source and also how to keep the correct time for a longer period.